I have my duck face in order? Self-portrait, or as they call it now, selfie. Let's not take these kind of self-portraits. Let's take some badass self-portraits. Check out how I shot these portraits in the fog. All right, all right, all right. It is time for another nuggets of this channel. I'm gonna tell you guys how you can take self-portrait, AKA selfie in the fog. I don't know about you guys, but I get bombarded with looking at Instagram. I'm looking at social media. Let's make it interesting. Let's make it fun. Let's make it very dramatic. Majority of times, you know, they are not interesting. Well, this is a way for me to express my creativity and actually doing what used to be a very respectable self-portrait approach. There is some challenges to capturing self-portrait out there in an environment. I went out there by myself in these locations and it could be complicated at times. Uh, in Los Angeles, it, it is quite dangerous at certain parts of the city. So if you're going out there and doing self-portraits in these places, make sure you do your due diligence, study the locations, uh, be aware of those surroundings, if not, just take somebody with you in case, in case of an emergency. Before I actually start telling you how to do self-portraits in the fog, I just wanna make sure you're aware that if you go out there on your own, there is some risk involved. Stay safe out there. Now, let's get to how I capture these uh, images in the fog. Well, first off, you need elements. Elements of fog. Now you can do any kind of organic matter in that aspect. You know, you can do liquid, you can do even fire. I don't recommend you being close to it, but because you know, LA comes across fog at least a few times uh, towards the winter time, I took advantage of this. And plus the texture of Los Angeles is just stunning. You know, you get these beautiful dramatic images when you go out there and explore. That is the beauty of, of discovering self-portraits out there in the environment. You find these amazing places and, and capture that moment. When we come across fog in LA, I'm ready to roll with my camera. So I go out there and start driving around, finding first street lights. Fog works best when you have backlighting. The backlighting makes things more dramatic. So whenever you have the fog, the light, and in the front is the subject is you, your pictures come out really, really cool. Now, what I recommend as well is, of course, you have, just to speed things up, I recommend a wireless trigger. I have this Velo, a wireless trigger, and I bought it for $32, and it's relatively cheap. And so this helps me uh, streamline my workflow if I'm actually out there doing self-portraits. You can utilize your, your camera's timer and gives you, you know, a few seconds to uh, push the shutter and then run back to your spot. But that could be quite annoying going back and forth and you, you can get, you know, somewhat exhausted going back and forth, taking a picture, looking at the shot, taking a picture. Taking... Here, you can just take multiple uh, shots, maybe, you know, uh, enough where you're satisfied that you feel like you might have gotten a good shot. Then go back and, and view what you've got through your screen. So this makes a big difference. This can, can allow you to go into that location, shoot a few shots in and out relatively quick. Now, the issue with having self-portrait is obviously focus, but there's times where focus is not needed because the effect of the blurriness of the shot could add value to the photo. If you are trying to achieve some type of focus, definitely take several shots, move in, out, in and out, and then view what you've got. Lighting is key when you're shooting fog. Make sure it's in the back, the fog in the middle, and you are in the front. That makes it dramatic. Now, if you wanted to bring other uh, additional lights, you can light yourself up in the front and make it even interesting. Have some colored lights, uh, create some kind of edge lighting. You know, things like that, that yeah, can make it more interesting. But that's just more gear to, to haul if you're just going for the location and the fog, 
that should be sufficient enough to create dramatic photos. And what I suggest too, make sure you have a sturdy tripod. So it will reduce any camera shake when you're taking self portraits. You can adjust it, elevate it, you know, from shooting low to shooting high. So that gives you options as far as the look and feel of the photos. So bring a tripod with you whenever you're shooting out there in the field. If you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Peace.